When you encounter a choking adult, they will show you this sign. Identify yourself. Tell them that you know the Heimlich maneuver. Ask them, can you cough? Can you speak? If the victim can cough or speak, do not perform the Heimlich maneuver or pat them on the back. Encourage them to cough instead. If you happen to be alone, you may use the back of a chair to perform abdominal thrusts on yourself. If the person is a female, ask her, are you pregnant? We do the Heimlich maneuver by finding hand placement. Simply find the top of the pelvis, which is approximately where the belly button is. Put your foot between theirs. Slide one hand around with your thumb towards their belly button at the pelvic line. Put the other hand on top of that one and pull up and back towards you as many times as it takes to get the object out or the person becomes limp. These will be very violent and they will look like this towards you as many times as it takes. If the person is pregnant, then we would not do abdominal thrust. This could injure the unborn child. What we would do is we would find hand placement by putting our fingers at the base of the sternum, the exact same place that we do when we do CPR. Put the other hand on top of that one and pull in. These are called chest thrust. We do this until the object comes out or the person becomes limp. We could do this exact same type of chest thrust if the person was so obese we were unable to reach around their belly. If the person goes limp in your arms, with your leg between theirs, guide them to the floor. Once you safely get the adult to the floor, shake and shout. If there's no response in the adult, immediately go and dial 911 or your local emergency number. Remember, 80% of the adults that collapse need to be electrically stimulated. When you return to the victim, remember your ABCs. A is airway. We open the airway using the head tilt, chin lift. If you do not hear, see, or feel any breathing, which is B, then give the person two breaths. If the first breath does not go in, Reposition the head by going back to its neutral position and redoing the head tilt, chin lift. This will remove the tongue from the back of the throat. Remember, the tongue is the most common cause of airway obstruction. If the second attempt to ventilate does not produce chest rise, then you can safely assume that the airway is still obstructed. It would be inappropriate to try and do the Heimlich maneuver again, so we would do what is called abdominal thrust. By getting astride the victim's thighs, put the heel of one hand at approximately their belly button or pelvic line. Put the other hand on top of that one. And in the unconscious person, give five abdominal thrusts towards the nose. One, two, three, four, five. This compresses the person's air in their stomach by using their abdominal organs slamming into their diaphragm. If the object is going to come out, this is when that would happen. Look in their mouth. See if you see anything. If you do not, in the adult only, you may do what is called a blind finger sweep by inserting your finger down one side of their mouth and out the other side. If this does not produce any foreign objects, the only way you'll know the airway is open is by giving the person a breath. Pinch the nose, open the airway, and blow. If the breath does not go in and you do not see chest rise, remember the most common cause of airway obstruction is the tongue. Reposition the person's head and attempt to ventilate again. If the breath does not go in, then repeat the step of giving five abdominal thrusts. Find the pelvic line, hands on top of each other, and five abdominal thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Look in the person's mouth. If you do not see anything, then do a blind finger sweep. If the blind finger sweep does not produce any objects, then give the person a breath. If the first breath goes in, remember everyone gets two breaths initially. If the second breath goes in, check the person's pulse. If the pulse is present, then give the person one breath every five seconds. 
This is called rescue breathing. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000. Once you've resuscitated the person and they have a pulse and they are breathing on their own, it is appropriate to put them in the recovery position. By rolling them on their side, this will keep any airway obstructions out of their mouth. In the situation where the person has already choked and you arrive and they're unresponsive, it's the exact same way that we always begin. Sir, sir, can you hear me? If there's no response in the adult, always go dial 911 first or your local emergency number. Once you get back to the person, remember A, B, C. A is airway. Head tilt, chin lift. If the person is not breathing, then you must give them two breaths. If the first breath does not go in, Reposition the person's head because of the possibility of the tongue obstructing the airway and attempt to give a breath again. If the second attempt to give a breath does not produce chest rise, then you can safely assume that the airway is obstructed. Get astride the person's thighs, find the pelvic line, put the heel of one hand at approximately the belly button, put the other hand on top of that one and forcefully towards the nose give five abdominal thrusts. One, two, three, four, five. Go up to the mouth and see if you see anything. If you do not, in the adult only, you may do what is called a blind finger sweep. In one side, out the other. If it does not produce any foreign objects, the only way you'll know that the airway is open is by giving them a breath. If the breath goes in, everyone gets two breaths initially. Once both breaths go in, reassess the pulse. If you do not feel a pulse, then you must begin chest compressions. If you do feel a thumping under your fingers and the person is not breathing, remember, in the adult, always give one breath every five seconds. If the person takes a breath, then count for five seconds and see if they breathe again. Once you've resuscitated the person and they have a pulse, and they are breathing on their own, it is appropriate to put them in the recovery position. By rolling them on their side, this will keep any airway obstructions out of their mouth. Now let's review. Dial 911 first. Remember your ABCs. A is airway. Open the airway using the head tilt, chin lift. B is breathing. Look, listen, and feel for breathing. If the person is not breathing, pinch the nose and give two breaths. C is circulation. In the adult, check the pulse in the neck. If there is no pulse, give 15 compressions using two hands and compressing two inches deep. Then give two breaths. Reassess the pulse and breathing every minute. Thank you for your attention.